All right, everybody, hey, Alan, welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings, which is episode five of our Words of Wisdom mini-series here that I run on the channel, a three-day-a-week mini-dive or mini-discussion on various randomly selected stanzas from the Hovamal. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel, my name is Jesse, and I am the host here. Um, normally, I usually do one video a week, but here lately I've introduced a new mini-series, which is this Hovamal stanza discussion. Um, so for those that don't know, my channel is about various things pertaining to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, just kind of how I see the world as a heathen in modern times, trying to live uh, the old ways in modern times. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, I invite you to right down here, click that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss anything, make sure you ding the bell for notifications so that way you are notified every time that I upload new content. All right, so as always, today's random stanza is going to be selected and chosen and read from Dr. Jackson Crawford's version of the Hovamal in his Wanderer's Hovamal uh, translation. Really like this version. I've got his version of the Poetic Edda or translation of the Poetic Edda, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one's got a lot more, like there's the Old Nor Norse uh, versions of the stanzas uh, with some linguistic notes and, and things like that. It's like a study version of the Hovamal from a linguistic or academic side of things. But anyway, uh, today's random stanza that I selected to read from and kind of talk a little bit about is going to be stanza 15. So from Dr. Jackson Crawford's version of the Havamal or translation of the Havamal, stanza 15 says, A noble man should be silent, thoughtful, and bold in battle. But every man should also be cheerful and happy till the inevitable day of death. As with all of the stanzas, that I've previously done in uh, the rest of the uh, four episodes leading up to this one. Um, I read the stanza and then I give you kind of my insight or my own view on things. Um, you know, in this particular stanza, as with a lot of the stanzas throughout the Havamal, uh, reminds me to, you know what, be quiet, listen, observe, um, study, um, learn, that sort of thing. Don't always be the one that has to say everything, that has to, you know, be the one out in front of them. Yes, be bold, be, be uh, you know, convicted in what it is that you're doing. Um, but, you know, you don't always have to be the one that um, makes the, 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 the most amount of noise. Quite often you will learn more from being silent and observing um, until our inevitable day of death when uh, we transition from our known existence as we know it right here and right now into our next plane of existence, the way that we interact with um, the whites of the land, the, the things that kind of touch on to the sacred, right? So it, it reminds me and it kind of re reinforces to me that it's okay to, to be quiet. So it's, it's all right to sit back and observe, um, still be convicted in what you do, still have that conviction at least, and still be bold in your actions. Um, but it's not just about that, right? Be cheerful, be happy, be kind, be courteous, be hospitable. All of these things are spoken uh, throughout uh, the whole of them all and have a general um, appreciation within the, the overall worldview of, of Norse heathenry. I think there's a lot of focus put on hospitality and generosity and the exchange of gifts and that sort of thing. So this whole cheerful, be happy thing, like we don't want to come across as being so callous that we are unapproachable and that we are um, unable to be, um, have any sort of useful presence in our community, in our societies. Um, so that's my insight, and as always, I invite your insight to be included down in the comments section. So in whatever version of the Havamal that you read from, whether it's the Bellows translation, the Hollows translation, uh, uh, did I say, what did I say? I said Bellows, I said Hollander, maybe I, I might have misspoke there, uh, Bellows translation, Hollander translation, Thorpe translation, uh, whichever translation of the Havamal that you read from. Uh, Dr. Jackson Crawford's version, whichever it is, open up your Havamal, read that stanza, let me know what it is you think, and let me know how that stanza specifically speaks to you.
All right. Um, I invite you to also please check the description down below, as always, to make sure that you, uh, if you want to support Midgard Musings in any way, um, there's a link tree link down in the description. Check it out definitely and see if it fits you. Um, there's a lot of ways that you can support this channel through, you know, Patreon, you know, of course, subscribing to this channel. There's uh, merchandise on Teespring, recently got on Twitter. Don't really do too much there, but it's there. Uh, so check it all out. See if it fits you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hail, and I'll see you in the next one.